Sherry Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. So today we're going to see what kind of mixed media products we can cut with the Cricut Joy. So this is a Cricut Joy machine. It's got a little tiny cutting blade in there. And we're going to create, create each time. And we're going to see how this works. Now what I did was I did some research and we're going to go from the easiest to the hardest. So I went to Michael's and I bought this 65 pound 100 sheets, exactly the right size for this little tiny Cricut pad, okay? So we gotta take the cover off, and then it's a little bit sticky. So I have concerns about it being a little bit sticky in my craft room with embossing material being everywhere. But we're gonna put that guy right on there. We're gonna say make it with Matt. See how it's right there, okay? And we're gonna say continue. And we're gonna set material. So this is um, cardstock, medium cardstock. Nope, that's 60, 80 pound. So this is insert card cardstock, okay? Load tools and material, all set, tap go. Okay, let's pull this out. Oh, we had to push it in a teeny bit more. Okay, took less than a minute to do. We have to wait for it to kick it out. Unload. So it wants us to unload our materials. And it kind of kicks it out that last little bit. Okay, so this is medium weight cardstock. And the thinking is that when we do this and we pull this out, we're gonna have those letters. And we have the letters. So that is medium, that is what they said would work. 65 pound card stock. And then if you were gonna use this, so I'm totally gonna use this as a mask, and we'll have a whole one about masks. And then you also have the letters you can use. And you have to, um, you're supposed to use a fancy pick, but I have my fancy dancy, um, Hairpin, hat pin, okay? So we got that going. And I'm not really worried about any of these today. I'm not worried about pulling up the paper. I'm literally just trying to get an idea of what kinds of things I can cut on this Cricut. Ta-da! Okay, so that's a good one. That worked for sure. And that is the 65 pound card stock. Yeah, yes. Okay, next comes a typical thing for me, which is um, old book pages. <laughs> it's trying to capture my old book pages. Uh-oh, look. See the stuff's coming off on it, on the mat? Because it's sticky and old book pages are kind of a pain in the ass. So... That's something to note. Maybe I'll put the, so the acrylic is going to protect the old book pages a little bit. So let's put the acrylic paint down, right? And see if that doesn't stick as much. We're gonna put this in here again. And that is old book pages, acrylic paint. Um, smart iron on, da, 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 glitter cardstock, deluxe paper. Where is just dorky paper is not in here. So we're going to say cardstock. Okay, I have bad news. Old car, old paper is just too darn delicate. Right, like that doesn't actually come <laughs> as a shock to me because old paper is kind of a pain in the butt to work with anyways. And then we're trying to use a knife to cut it. So I would say old paper with acrylic paint on it is a fail. God bless America. That did not work. I've had this thing for 15 minutes and I'm already ruining it. I can't have nice things. 
All right, I'm sure that there's a video on YouTube about how to clean it off. So I'm gonna go with fail on super delicate billion year old paper. And I don't think that's a Cricut fail. I personally believe that is a, um, <laughs> let's call it what it is, user failure. Okay, now this is Tim Holtz, um, it's called uh, wallpaper. So I would say, I think I'm having trouble, continue because our materials aren't what the majority of the Cricut girls use. Most of them are using their vinyl, most of them are using their stuff. Um, I feel like, okay, so that's super light and I have two of every one so I can kind of feel it. I think this is, I would say medium card stock. We're gonna go with medium cardstock because this feels heavier than the 65 pound cardstock. And this is again, Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper. Okay, so I feel like this one is perfect. Okay, so that worked lovely with that. I am super pleased with how that came out. And again, normally I would probably keep these pieces to use. I mean, we spend hours cutting out die cuts of little tiny letters and you can do that. So honestly, I got this Cricut Joy to cut out words. Um, but for this, this test, this worked great. So, there's another one of those. Okay, now this is, I feel like the Cricut girls are gonna be really horrified by me. This is, I'll tell you what this is. This is mixed media paper 300 series. I was trying to see if we could find the weight. Medium weight. I love how they, like, super helpful. We're going to go with heavy weight. Uh-oh, it's not. Oh, you know why it's not sticking down? This is my fault. My fault, totally. Let's cut this a little shorter. Because why it's not sticking down is that the sticky stuff is all inside the little box and I had gotten outside the little box and you want it to stick because if it doesn't stick, then when the little blade goes by, it's not going to um, cut it right. Okay, so let's try this. And on this one, I am gonna pick that. I have a feeling most of mine is gonna be medium cardstock. And this is mixed media paper with acrylic paint on it from a gel press. Now, I did order a, um, an additional blade and not because I don't think that um, Cricut is gonna make a good blade, but because I feel like the materials that I use are not as friendly to cutting blades, let's say, as um, vinyl or normal paper or whatever. I feel like, you know, we could, as a mixed media artist, have a bunch of things that um, normal people won't have. And I'm gonna, you know, normal cricket users have. And I'm gonna show you some of those. So this is our, and, and I can already tell, this is doing amazing, right? So that is gorgeous. And you know what the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my bad side of my mat and my good side of my mat. I can already tell that I'm going to have to order another mat because I have stuff. 
Like I have glue that I don't think they ever put um, glue on their stuff. And, and I can tell you for sure I am going to have glue on some of my things. Okay, the next thing we're going to try is this, which is um, basic solids, cardstock, paper, double-sided. But this is super shiny. Like, this is some kind of crazy, and I got it at Tuesday morning. Um, this is some kind of crazy pants. Um, shiny paper, so I wanted to see if that would work, and I already looked. The paper I use does not tell you the weight of it, so let's go ahead and, and see what happens here. Okay, it should be happy with that, and that is a lot lighter than the uh, mixed media paper that I use. So I'm actually gonna pick cardstock for this one because I think it matters um, simply because it's it's how much pressure that, that pen is making. Uh, everything's good, go. I'm gonna go get the dog while you guys are watching. Okay, this is a fail, right? We can see that it didn't cut it but we can also see that these letters are no longer sticking to that background, right? So this is not a failure of Cricut. This is a failure of the mat because I've put materials on it that have stopped it from being sticky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my mat around and do it this way we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but now the mat is sticky, right? So we need to know this because as mixed media artists, we're gonna put all kinds of stuff on these mats that doesn't, um, like we have to clean the mat. We're gonna to have to figure out how to do that. Now this, I think, let's go medium cardstock. Maybe it also wasn't a heavy enough cardstock. Because their idea of medium cardstock and my idea of medium cardstock may be very different. Because I'm a nutcase. Okay. So, see here? That worked perfectly. It cut that shiny, shiny material perfectly. And it did that because it stuck to this mat, right? The, the reason why the last one didn't work wasn't that the Cricut didn't work, it was that I had let my mat get dirty and it wasn't sticky anymore. Now, we're gonna have to figure out how to get sticky mats, um, how to re-stick our mats. Now, I have tons of stuff. I'm sure they're gonna love hearing this. But I have tons of stuff to make things sticky. I have Eileen's tacky stick. I have, like, I'm a mixed media artist. I have the ability to fix this problem. Okay, this is the last one we're going to try. This is a nightmare for a paper cutting tool. So I want you to look at this. This is uh, glitter, card, glitter card stock. Then I put acrylic paint over and layers of um, magazine collage. So we're gonna have to see, and we're on the sticky end, and we're gonna stick this sucker down as much as, uh, it's already not sticking. Will it stick? It may not stick. Let's see, can we stick this side? It might just be that that paper won't stick. Oh, and this'll give it a smoother, a smoother surface to work from. All right, let's see what happens. I got this sticky down pretty good. And it, it makes me feel good that they, they actually have a glitter card stock thing. To think it might work. Glitter card stock. Let's see what happens. Now, this is a lot of paper. I would say in some places, this might be three layers of paper. 
But I just want to know what I can do and what I can't do. Um, if it'll go through that heavy a uh, paper. And it's cutting it. Kind of does this the the circly bits at the end. Okay. What? Okay, I let's try again. Let's see what it does if it says try again. Is it gonna cut it again? That's what my friend Jennifer Maker Marks said to do. She said, if you think it's not cut through, and I thought it might not be cut through, you want to let it take a second pass. And because I didn't unload it and restart it, it is literally going to cut exactly the same as it did the last time. And look, that's interesting. I think it's cutting the top layer. Okay. I have one last thing, actually, I'm going to try cutting. Okay. So let's see what happened. Oh, look, it cut the whole thing. Oh, uh-oh, our east, nope, it cut the whole thing out of that super heavy layers. Now, I do think that I needed the second pass through to make it cut, so big win for Cricut there. All right, I have one last thing I want to try. Okay. My one last thing I want to try is tissue paper and see if it'll cut tissue paper. Is it inside the... Okay, let's see. I don't know how sticky we still are because I'm 30 seconds in and I'm a bad Cricut user. Okay, we're sticking it down. I almost feel like this might do the same thing that um, the old paper did in that it's not light and it, it's not, there's not enough body to it to, um, to cut like that. Like it would be hard to cut with scissors, right? It's hard to cut with scissors unless you're just cutting a straight line. So for this, we're cutting all different angles, but I think it'd be fun to try it. I mean, I need to know what it'll do. I'm just justifying myself. Okay, I'm gonna do insert cardstock. Insert card cardstock. The poor thing is like, oh my God, who have you sent me to? Yeah. Sure, we'll try it. So the thing that I wanna to talk to you about while this last one is cutting is don't be afraid to try things, right? Like the very worst thing that could happen, there's two worst things, three worst things that could happen. Number one, my, um, and it's not working, my tissue paper may not work. And that's fine. I mean, this was not made to cut tissue paper. This was not made to do mixed media artwork. It was made to do vinyl and things that um, normal people use, right? So this, Sort of worked. So number one, our tissue paper could break, right? And I feel like for real, our tissue paper broke. It did some of it. Okay, and we see that it was pretty good at cutting the, the straight parts, right? That's kind of what I thought might be the case. It's pretty good at cutting the straight parts, but the curved parts really blew it up. And you know, that's not, oh, if we look at it, it's relatively good. 
It's just that the paper is so delicate that it didn't work. So that's my test. I have to say that I've been super pleased so far. It's gonna do, I think that, that if I had to pick one, the mix like that I use all the time that I'm going to use it with, that I'm the most pleased about is the mixed media paper. So the mixed media paper worked great. And then also this um, cardstock that I bought from Michaels. You can buy it online, I'm sure. I'll look it up for you. But 65 pound cardstock worked a dream too. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.